Hello, welcome back to Project Zomboid. Meet Kenneth Kniff, legend survivor. Now having killed 2,029 zombies and regained a lot of body weight, we've come a long way from where we started. First we found veteran Kelly, then it was this guy named Patrick. We started in this sedan, then we moved on to this Humvee. Our goal was to find more NPCs to live here, but instead I found this APC. I got it mostly right. Today we take this out for a spin. Oops. This thing is basically a little tank. We just draw them out. Come on, come on. All right, everybody, let's go. Your Uber is here. And if you can't get past other cars, just push them out of the way. Yep, that works every time somehow. Prepare to get swarmed. I like it how only just now the panic starts to set in. All right, do you think I'll be able to get out of this one? Oh God, they're starting to flip it. Still, I still think we got a good shot at this. Oh no, how will I ever get out of this one? Backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Sorry. This thing got through that whole group. They were just standing there. Oh God, let's see one. Yep, that works. And two. That works too, yeah, totally. Oh awesome, three. Let me just check on my car a second. This thing looks completely fine. I gotta get out. Hmm, I'm a little concerned I'm out of bullets. How far can we get into Raven Creek? All right, making our way into the city. Okay, it's, this thing can barrel along, jeez. Move it. All right, so that, damn it. So that other way to the city was blocked. Let's try another one. I think it'd be great to own a car like this because just no more traffic jams, you know? You just move everyone else's car. Who's gonna get in the way, really? Here it goes. All right. Well, I am surprised we've actually made our way in. Apparently brute force works. Okay, this just got a little bit more interesting. Oh no. Looks like we just pushed these other two cars out of the way. Yep, this is working just really slowly. Hmm, that doesn't seem too good. Ah, we'll be fine. Well, they did always say slow and steady wins the race. I admire this one's determination in front of the car. She really wants to stop me from getting in here. Okay, I think we finally hit an immovable object. Time to back up. That was great. Much better than expected. Oh, uh, here we go again. Damn it. I can't tell, but it appears as if I'm being upturned. Oh God, there goes something. Here we go again. Come on, everybody, push. Okay, the car is slowly being freed. You just gotta shimmy this out of here. This is really making me regret the five points I lost on my road test. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Plan B. We're gonna have to take him out. Okay, we're back into it. No, I'm literally gonna try to back into it. I may not know what's happening around my car, but I can feel it. Something is still working, otherwise I wouldn't be hearing all that splattering. Okay, it's finally turning again. I can see the US Army logo. Great, look at this progress. I think it's over. Oh, Jesus. I do not want another one of those. All right, turn, yes, turn. I'm alive. As long as we don't completely lose forward momentum, we're still gonna keep getting kills. I like it when this thing backs up and then changes, it's like, <gasps> you know, I'm sorry. Let's play the game the way. Should we play the game the way it's meant to be played now? Okay, so here's the problem. Okay, so we've got these two survivors, and we've got all of these shotgun shells, and all of this tactical body armor. So let's just put these 14 boxes of shotgun shells on the seat, and why not start there? Just rev up the engine. And you know what I think we're gonna do? Open the window, and go right back out where we were. This totally works. Now all we need is a horde to draw. Hmm, what can we do with this? One, two, Three, ten. That's all that's left. Conveniently, we left all the bodies on this side of the road. Though the other ones really want me. Well, I still have another 14 boxes of ammo. It'd really be a shame if I didn't get to use it. Okay, now we just go back right where we were before, and it looks like there are more. And now we just pull a Daryl Dixon. Okay, I'm gonna just put it into cruise control. Five miles an hour in the opposite direction of the city ought to do. And this should lead them out. We've got some sort of trail of death going here. That's much better. I can't imagine, you know, I should probably plan this ahead of time. I do want the road to be clear, so let's just off-road this. Or what if I just drove in a circle? I'm sure no one will notice. It's like the Lion King, except it's just a, a circle of death. 
I don't know why I didn't use this before. It's like the ultimate tactic. This is gonna leave a big mess later on. I think we're just about done here. You know, this didn't actually seem that bad. Notice how they're all just dabbing downward. Should we kill this one? I think we'll just leave this one there as a warning. No. It really takes a lot to get into Raven Creek. Oh, uh, my gun is jammed. At least I'll be able to get into the city after this. Over encumbered? I think not. I'm just trying to picture myself. Like, there's a man in there who has now opened up eight full boxes of shotgun shells, just backing up his car. I need to be more original with these. Okay, but that wasn't enough. There we go. Okay, we, we kept one side of the road clear for a reason. Oh, look, more. Ah, uh, this is much better. This is a great tactic. Is this finally enough to pass through the crystal gates into the city of Raven Creek, which I've sought so long? All right, time to open the last six boxes. <laughs> it's come to a steady hum now. Can we hold the line? Oh God, look, this one's suffering underneath this car. Let's end it. May God forgive me for the copious amounts of suffering I've caused. But we did make it back in. Oh, it's a su It's a surprise we didn't do more with that entire APC. I was... I was hoping that would be more, but... Well, we're almost out of shells. That's 14 boxes of shotgun shells. And we still haven't even broken the line. I might be here a while. Well, there goes my last shell. Okay. Well, that was a close one. Oh, man. That was ill-timed. Death. Death. But apparently, losing one wheel is not the end. Yep, don't mind this car, just magically moving. Don't question it. We just have to get back fast. What's amazing is that even if I lose the other front wheel, I can still go. Guess I gotta sleep now. Well, you know what they say about shotgun shells. When you run out, there's always more. Ooh, rogue hood. Let's see what another 24 boxes of shotgun shells can do. Just put them in there, man. I'm just imagining him struggling. You know what, let's open up all 24 three so that we don't have to think about it. What was that sound? Okay, 576 shells. We're just gonna put these on the seat. I think that's fine. And then we're gonna grab half of them into our inventory. I like how each each individual shell just has a, a mind of its own. Alright, now I'm just sitting here with a 240 shotgun shells in my lap. And suddenly it's Zelda. Actually it looks kind of cool. And I've taken very minor damage. Can you imagine just dying by being crushed underneath your own shotgun shells? Not even shot, just crushed under the weight of shotgun shells. This one's gonna be a night raid. I forgot about this ham. Let's just put that also in the seat next to me with the shotgun shells. All right, I have a feeling today's gonna be the day we get in. I know there's this school bus right there. I'm just, I'm dying to use that instead. I just don't think it'll fit right now. Okay, the city is looking very agreeable now. Now we just yeet this jeep into this destroyed wreck. Oh god, no, it's taken me! It's taken me! How did that happen? How did that even happen? Oh god, all those shotgun shells and the ham are still in the car. Well, here I go now with 190 shotgun shells. That car wasn't even moving. What I'm more disappointed about is that now there is a running engine in the entrance to the city. It's never gonna stop now. At least I'm safe inside my mind. There we go, parkour. Look, I'm- I'm in the car. I'm- don't- how does this even happen? Just hang on a second. Alright, I guess now we're just waiting for this thing to run out of gas. Well, you've gotta learn to live with your bad decisions. Why do you think I created this channel? I go where my car leads me and I stand by it. You get away from my car. I will defend my car till the end. Somehow I'll move. I swear it. I swear to God if it's the last thing I do- but How are you just all falling down? This car is a ghost now. I don't really even know what's happening anymore in terms of coding. And that's after 600 hours of playing this goddamn game. If anyone should know what's happening with the car by now, it's me, and I don't. But I'm willing to live with that. And suffer the consequences. Nobly. My tears will not be expiated. And my ham will remain with the shotgun shells. Just kidding, I'm going to eat the ham now. Alright, a great day to eat ham. We don't need cars, I... 
I- Karma is telling me something. I'm just gonna give up my old life and move into the city. Come to think of it, Raven Creek is really made for walking anyway. Oh, what's this? Another Humvee? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Ah, vehicles. Life isn't worth it unless if you're inside of one. Well, we can at least navigate the city using this thing. All I really wanted to do was explore and have fun. Oh, God. Well, this car just turns off randomly out of nowhere. I guess that's what I get for taking a car I just found on the street. Before this, it was some guy's car. And now I'm some guy. Is this all that's left for me? Yes. Probably. Ooh, what is this tall glass of water? Ooh, hey. Just snaking on out of there. Well, that's the building I want, and uh... Oh god, they're just diving from the windows now. Look, there they go. Oh, Jesus, that is just... That is so interesting. When you get to areas that aren't in the vanilla game, things start behaving in ways that they never did before. This has to be one of my favorite areas. There's nothing in vanilla like it. And I can't help but think that my character just looks very confused. Oh well. There's still room to be dealt with. Many more to kill. Jesus, this thing is so overpowered. After taking a break from Zomboid because I legitimately thought it was too hard the way it was balanced right now, this is just a breath of fresh air. It feels great, I can't lie. It feels amazing. Oh, I'm out of shotgun shells again. This could spell trouble. Oh, I just got the last 330 shells out of my car. This better be enough. That's all I can say, because the kill count's now over 3,000 and climbing fast. Oh, this looks good. I'm not sure I'll ever be alone again. Now do you see why I turn off respawning? There's a lot. I'm gonna deserve this when I get to it. All right, I think we've made them all jump out of the building at me by now. Jesus, this is kind of neat. You could actually see for miles around here. Looks like I've drawn them all out. I've always been excited for areas like this once multiplayer is eventually released. Yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. See myself hiding out up here, maybe a sniper on the roof. People do always hunt down other players like this. Of course, usually I'm the one getting hunted. Ah, uh, the beauty of the filibuster rhymes cars. The beauty of pharma hug. It really does look decrepit and nice. Well, I mean that in a good way, like a real rundown city. Well, we're up here and that's what matters. Okay, this seems like a, a decent area to actually get started uh, making a base for Raven Creek. It's one of the most loaded cities in the game. You know, the military base we left behind is pretty good, but this is gonna have a lot more spare parts and really food so that we don't have to worry about farming. Processed food is just higher in calories, and I hate plants. So far, Kenneth Kniff has survived a while. However, if we want to remain heavy and not lose all of the weight, we've got to eat a lot of processed food. Otherwise, it's, it's just a circle of growing food forever. We've been eating nothing but mayonnaise, and I intend to eat nothing but mayonnaise for the rest of the apocalypse. This place has quite a lot of staircases up. I think this is the max height of any uh, building in the game, so we'll just make our way back down. Though, then again, you know, probably be safer to sleep on one of the upper floors. Or I might honestly just sleep in the bathroom tonight or something. There's no telling with this new city, but... Well, we've uncovered a whole new, a whole new world of the game. We have our stats to show for it. I doubled experience for this playthrough. It takes a painfully long time to level up some of these stats and I wanted it to happen. And yet still aiming and reloading have a long way, long, long way to go. We're gonna be sitting here leveling for a while. And I think this will resemble what they do on a lot of multiplayer servers, which I'm sort of doing this video series in anticipation of I've picked out a lot of mods that I suspect will be used on those servers. It's time to wash off the rest of my body in uh, toilet water now. Eat some rotten lettuce and read a book so that I don't feel sad anymore. Knowledge leads the way. Well, that's only the tip of the iceberg. There's still a lot more that's gonna sink the whole Titanic. And I hope you'll be there to join me for it. We got a lot done today. I really feel good about this. Eventually I'll get my APC back through and we'll just yeet through the rest of the city. But I think I'm gonna leave it there for today. As always, a major thanks to Ghoul King for inspiring this series. His link's down below, go check out his channel. A major thanks to my patrons. I really appreciate it. No, really, thank you for all the help. As well as to viewers like you. Thank you. More to come, so stay tuned. I'm Ambiguous Amphibian, and goodbye.